daily math review, that first one. What is 40% of, whoops, what's 40% of 32 problems? All right, so what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to take a look and we're going to see that, well, we know 40% is 40 out of 100. And we know 32 problems, that of, remember, is over of. On that of, so it's 32 problems total. We don't know what that is. is. We don't know what it is. So now we're going to do our cross multiplication. We get 100 times x, which is 100x. 32 times 40. Let's see. We have 2 or 0 times 2 is 0, 0. Um, placeholder 0. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. So I get 0, 8, 2, 100, or 1,280. So 1,280. Now we can divide both sides by 100. All right. So we can say that there's x left on this side. We can cancel out 1, 0, and then we're left with 128 divided by 10. So let's do 128 divided by 10. 128 divided by 10. 10 goes into 12 one time. Um, 10 times 1 is going to be, actually, no, it's fine. 10 times 1 is going to be 10. Subtract, you get 2. Bring down that 8. 2 can go, or 10 can go into 28 two times. Um, 10 times 2 is 20. We're going to subtract, you get 8. We're going to have to put a decimal here, pop up that decimal and a zero to drop down that zero. Now we have, I'm gonna move this over a little bit for us. There we go. Now we have um, 80, 10 can go into 88 times, you get 80, zero remainders. So our answer is going to be 12 and 8 tenths. So it's gonna be 12.8, so that's gonna be our first answer. Alrighty, next. Hannah earns $198.60 per week. She works 15 hours each week. How much does Anna er Hannah earn per hour? Alright, so $198.60 per week. She works 15 hours each week. So we're going to divide. So we have $198.60. Remember, money on top, money on top. Divided, divided by 15 hours. So then we have, well, let's divide. Okay, let's see. Let's get some space. I'm going to delete this for right now to do some work here. Alrighty, let's see. So we have $198.60 divided by 15 hours. 15 can go into 19 one time. 15 times 1 is 15. Subtract. 9 minus 5 is 4. Um, 1 minus 1 is 0, bring down that 8. 15 can go into 48 three times. Uh, 15 times 3 is going to be 45. We're going to subtract. 8 minus 5 is 3. Bring down that 6. What did I forget to do before? Pop up that decimal. Pop it up. All right, 15 can go into 36 just two times because 15 times 2 is 30. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> it's 30. Subtract, you get 6. Bring down that 0. So if it can go into 32 times, it can go into 64 times. So 15 times 4 is 60. Subtract, you get 0. So our answer is going to be $13.24. And this is going to be per hour or each hour. So per hour, so you can put per hour. So that is going to be it for our, oh man, well that's okay. That's going to be it for the DMR. Great job.